Today's video is a guide on how to qualify for a future DBank airdrop. DBank is a crypto portfolio tracker, wallet, social media application, and soon to be Ethereum layer two. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. And as a reminder, although airdrop guides and these sorts of checklists I'll show you today are based on which criteria qualified you for other airdrops in the past, there's no guarantee that DBank does an airdrop and there's no way of knowing for sure exactly which tasks will qualify you for that airdrop. However, we can make some educated guesses and do what we can to qualify. And now let's get into the video. To start, you go to the DBank homepage. It looks like this, dbank.com, and you can see they brand themselves as the Web3 Messenger, but they're definitely quite a bit more than that. And before we get into the guide itself, I wanna show you guys that I put together this airdrop checklist of over a dozen different potential airdrops that you can try to qualify for. And these are just step-by-step -step guides with links that you can use to try to qualify for airdrops like DBank and others. And we're gonna reference this throughout this video. So I'll put it down in the description if you wanna follow along with the checklist yourself. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to actually connect our wallet to DBank. I'm gonna connect my MetaMask right now, and you'll have to confirm the transaction. I'm just using a burner wallet. It'll ask you to verify to confirm that you're the holder of the address. You're gonna to wanna to do that. And by the way, I don't think this just verifying your wallet would be enough to qualify, or at least I'd be surprised if it did. Um, but it doesn't, uh, you know, it's a necessary step to do the other things I think are likely to qualify you. All right, so now we are in. Next thing that you can do is you can actually refer others to DBank using your unique referral code. And, and um, generally speaking, that's something that would qualify you for these sorts of airdrops, especially if those people then did tasks that qualify them. So to get your unique referral code, what you do is you click on this little icon down here that's sort of like a circle with two circles coming out, I guess symbolizing social media sharing, you know, pretty common to see that. And you'll get this, this link here that um, is a link that you can send people to share your DBank profile. And then basically what you want them to do is go through there and then sign up after following your link. And, and so definitely invite your friends, invite people on social media if you have crypto interested people following you and that could go towards qualifying. All right, so let's keep it going. Uh, next thing that you may want to do is post and interact on DBank stream. So DBank is much more than just a portfolio tracker. As you can see here, this is this burner wallet that I use for my YouTube tutorials. So it's got a lot of random ETH on different chains since I should do videos on how to bridge to different chains. Uh, but it can show you all the different all the different tokens that you have and, and everything like that. Uh, but it's also a social media application. So if you click on stream here, then you can see that that uh, you can actually start to follow different um, different people. And so if I go to the hot tab, for example, then I can see which posts are trending. And if you look, a lot of them actually have quite a bit of engagement on them. And I think part of that is people trying to farm this airdrop. But next thing that I would do, I would start interacting on here, start commenting uh, and start posting myself. You know, I might say, this is my first DBank post. I'll say, you can actually, when you set, make the post, you can set who can comment. So you could say they need to have a certain net worth, you know, kind of aggressive, <laughs> but you could do that. Um, maybe you want to set the age, you know, so that way no one with a new wallet, but let's just post it. This is my first DBank post. And then you can start interacting on here, start posting, start following other people. And, and I think that that's probably going to, uh, increase the chances that you, that you get something good and when they do an airdrop and, and also you might even accumulate some rewards if people donate to you. And again, Anytime you're spending money on these sorts of applications increases your chance of an airdrop. Next thing you'll want to do is to register your account on the DBank layer two. So they are coming out with their layer two soon. Uh, however, they haven't yet. Uh, so if you go to this high thing here, this is their messenger. You'll see this message that to send a message to someone in DBank high, you must first pay them via DBank L2. So you need to register for a DBank L2 account and deposit some funds. All right, let's do that. We click on register brings us to this other page here, dbank.com slash account. Click on register again. We have to connect our wallet. Once that's connected, connection is successful. Let's register on good old Ethereum. 
it'll prompt you to generate a dbank key. I've, I'm signing the transaction right now. Uh, and you have to pay a gas fee, which unfortunately on Ethereum is pretty expensive. It's actually $15. Um, I know you guys can't see that, but it's $15, but I'll pay it. Price of making high quality video. Uh, and that'll just take a minute to confirm and then my registration should be complete. All right, the registration was successful. So now you set a password. Let's see, I'm gonna set my password. Confirm. All right, we are on. Now what we wanna do is we wanna deposit some funds to the L2. You can see here that there's several chains you can send it from. Once you choose a chain like Ethereum, then you can choose which token you want to deposit, USDC, USDT, for example, and then you would deposit some funds. And so definitely, you know, to increase the chance of getting an airdrop, I would want to put some funds. I mean, the, the thing with all the free stuff you can do on the application is that that's so easy for someone to make bots and do in mass that that to increase your chance of an airdrop, there really has to be some sort of monetary amount involved, unfortunately, right? Uh, and probably that has to be something non-negligible. I'm not saying put your life savings into this, I'm not saying put money that you can't afford to put into this, but every time one of these airdrop things comes around, there's some people who are like, hey, I put 50 cents and I didn't get anything. It's like, you know, well, maybe put in, put in a little bit more than that, put in something that would be tough for someone to do in mass with thousands of wallets, because they obviously want to stop people from, from farming the airdrop across many different accounts. All right, but yeah, I would I would put some funds in the DBank L2 and then send a message through DBank Hi. Uh, next thing I would do is I would actually mint a DBank Web3 ID if I really wanted to guarantee my chance of getting a future airdrop. Because when you go to your profile, you see this option to mint a Web3 ID. However, note, you have to pay $96 to do this. So this is actually relatively expensive. Um, and you can see that only 100,000 IDs will be released for now. So it's relatively exclusive, but I would say of all the things today, this is probably maybe even more so than sending funds to DBank L2, the thing that's going to give you the best chance of actually getting a future DBank airdrop if they do one. All right, so we've done all that. We've sent messages. We've minted the Web3 ID. Next thing you need to do is DBank actually has their own wallet. So I think using the DBank wallet wouldn't be a bad idea. The wallet's called Rabby. It's honestly one of the best web wallets anyways, so why not? So next thing I would do is I would set up the web wallet. wallet. Again, it's linked here in the description or it's rabby.io. Go here and I would click here to actually install the Rabby wallet. And um, I happen to already have it installed in this browser. And once you have Rabby wallet installed, you can actually import your existing MetaMask wallet over to Rabby. So I did that exactly. This is my wallet in MetaMask. And then I can also open Rabby and it's the exact same wallet. And so what I would do here, once I had this installed, is I would want to actually do some swaps directly within the Rabby wallet. Because again, anytime you're spending money through an application that might do an airdrop, you increase your chance of actually getting that airdrop. So I would do some swaps directly through here. And then even better, once you do swaps through Rabby, you will actually qualify yourself to claim the Rabby badge on DBank. So DBank has a number of official badges, but since Rabby is their wallet, I think getting the Rabby badge wouldn't be a bad one to do. So once you do a swap, you'll be able to go to this page and actually mint your Rabby badge. And then uh, additionally, once you've done that, one thing that you might want to do is to actually try to qualify for other Web3 badges. If you go to the more page here on DBank and then you click on Web3 badges, you can see that there's a whole bunch of different badges they have, different achievements they are marking with badges. And the thing with this, again, these could just be for fun. They could have some non-monetary use. However, if there is ever any sort of monetary reward for using DBank, the fact that they're giving badges for these activities tells you that these activities are what they consider valuable for the platform and what they're trying to incentivize. So I would definitely definitely try to claim as many of these badges as you can. And some of them relate to having followers, some of them relate to using the app, some of them relate to airdrop hunting. You can see that there's a lot of, a lot of different things on here. And then in general, once you've done all of these things, I would just recommend using the application as much as you can. Again, use the stream. They have this new feature to create groups. Maybe you wanna join some of those and interact. 
and then see what other features they have and which other ways you can use the application because that's going to increase your chance of getting any sort of airdrop. And then something else they have actually, they do have a subscription monthly feature. I don't know if this will play into any sort of airdrop. I feel like generally speaking, these sorts of applications look for on-chain activity. Um, however, it certainly wouldn't hurt. And I'm not saying you should subscribe to this for $15 a month. I, I personally uh, am not, although although perhaps I will at some point. But, but um, again, the more you can interact with the protocol, the better your chance of getting some sort of airdrop in the future. And as a reminder, I'll link the step-by-step -step guide for the DBank airdrop down in the description of this video. And this also has guides for about one to two dozen other airdrops that you may be able to qualify for. And if you want more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.